okay hello guys and welcome to another video today so today i'm going to be doing something to show to show you how you can have a 1.12.2 modded folder and you can have a 1.14.4 or any other folder really so say you want to play like say you want to play like on a server that's got some mods on um so so you have a folder for that but then you want to play on another server that's got some different mods and the mods you use are I incompatible basically so it's this without having to go into the folder and change the individual mods because that's, that's just boring isn't it you want to be able to click straight on load on so i've gone right ahead and i've installed 1.14.4 so you're gonna obviously select it wherever it is Let's go past it. Is there? Give me a minute. I'll be right back when I figure out. I fixed the issue. I just had to close Minecraft and open it again. So anyway, so you've got it, got it selected. But what you need to do is before you play it, you want to edit it, and it's it's not got a directory. Otherwise, it would go default straight to the mods one, which you've already got, which has got. 1.12.2 mods in so you're going to make a new folder you're going to call it 1.14.4 whatever modded or if there's a specific mod pack that you're playing or whatever you'd call it that mod pack so oh that made another folder again oops oh well so click ok we'll go go to that 1.14.41 you don't want that so go to that one point. 14.4 modded folder you're gonna save it so now you need to open this to generate the folders so it's gonna open see 1.14.4 modded we don't we don't need that it's gonna generate the mods folder and a few other things in here in a second so I'll be right back once it's done that right so the folders are generating and this is just the launch for 1.14.4 modded minecraft you get different launchers and they look different for some of them so you just got to give this a second and it'll load up it's okay so minecraft is open no it's not it's loading mods but there aren't any mods there so it's just creating even more folders it's going to come to this right give it a second Right, so now you're on a quick game. You're gonna go to, you're gonna do Windows key R percent app data percent. It will take you to to this. You're gonna click on the dot Minecraft, and then the 1.14.4 that we just made mods. So I've got a mod here called the, the new Tardis mod. It's a Doctor Who mod. So okay, got that. So you're gonna open the launcher. you're gonna sum that I'm gonna give it a bit more RAM for those who don't know you click the three dots you want to click edit more options it's gonna come here now I advise you to dedicate at least half of your RAM I've got four so well I've got eight gigs so I'm gonna give it four right you're gonna start Minecraft it's gonna launch it's gonna come up with that that weird looking launcher that you, it's just confusing to look at it's gonna load the mod, it's gonna scan it and open it and all that stuff that it does. It's gonna do that. I'll be right back just on that. Right then guys, so it's loaded up. I'm just gonna quickly create a creative world to show you that it's modded. And then basically this is just a summary of how to set it up then. So you just go into the install the forge and then you make sure before you run it you change the default folder to a different folder so it's got its own mods folder and everything and then you don't have everything interfering with each other and you don't have to remove the mods out and then put in more mods and so it all messed up um yeah 
and if if you like the video give it a like subscribe if you like the content check out some of the other videos um, and put some comments let me know if you like to see something different you know so now, now you know it's modded well yeah like comment subscribe tell me what i could do differently and